Yo, what's up guys? Back here with another story tarot video. I know it's been a minute since I've told a story and I thought what better way to celebrate 10 subs than with a crazy story. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and without further ado, thank you and please enjoy the video. So this story is kind of important because it happened like very recently. It actually happened this summer at my grandma's house and I love my grandma. She's always been pretty nice to me and my siblings. And uh, every time I go down there, there's always something to do, and it's always kind of fun. But this time when we visited, there was this golf cart. And yes, I say golf cart, and I mean, some of y'all are going to be like, oh, yeah, it's a golf cart. But to me, a golf cart is pretty cool, because I had never seen one in real life before. I, I mean, I don't really go golfing or anything, so I wouldn't know. And, and I'm like, bro, that's the exact same cart that the boy Mordecai and Rigby are riding around town in. So I'm like, I got to get in that, you know what I mean? Like, I got to be in that golf cart. But... It was also dummy hot. So I was like, I can't drive that right now. I'll come back later. If it cools off later, maybe. Because this summer was a scorcher, bro. And that's no cap. But anyways, I decided to go chill in the usual room that I chill at at my grandma's house. And this room has like the best flat screen TV in it. And it's always really, really cool in there. I'm just sitting in there, you know, chilling. And the one thing about going to your grandparents' house or any older person's house in general is that they always have the old time cable. And bro, those are the best houses to be chilling at, especially when you have nothing to do but like, you know, kill time. Those are the best houses because, man, I have recorded so many things on my grandparents' DVR. Like, their DVR is probably full of so many old-time shows. But we got the, you know, original Teen Titans, Fanboy Chum Chum, Star vs. The Forces of Evil. But you already know what's popping off right here, bro. So I'm in there, chilling, you know, chips in one hand, coke in the next hand. I'm sitting there, you know, watching Killing Time. But if you're an older sibling, I kid you not, every older sibling goes through this. No matter what you're doing, bro, you could be on the other side of the planet. If you're younger siblings are doing something you will get caught up in it you will get caught up in it no matter what you're doing so my statement holds true here and apparently i was the only one who got the memo that it was hot outside so my younger siblings they're outside on this golf cart you know riding around doing laps you know and i'm like okay that's cool but then i get called out there to watch my little brother bro so apparently my younger sister and my younger brother, they were both riding this golf cart. But my younger sister, she's older than my younger brother. She decided that she got tired of watching my younger brother go around in the golf cart. So then they called me out there and they're like, you know, watch him, make sure he doesn't, you know, fall off the side of the road or something. So I'm like, all right, fine. It is what it is. It's whatever. Let's just go around a few times and let that be it. Side note. This was around the time that my little brother was going through this like severe grease monkey stage. Like he was really into motorbikes and motorcycle racing. But since he didn't have a motorbike available at the time, this golf cart was like the next big thing. Like this golf cart was like his ticket to the NASCAR race. You dig? But yeah, anyways, I get into this cart with this man and he's going crazy g this man's going up down left right like he's trying to do a cheat code or something i'm in there this man is out here swerving on the backcountry road bro and you know those backcountry roads they always have you know like cracks and bumps in it and bro i'm feeling every crack every bump every bug every everything that's on the road that he's running over going crazy on i'm feeling it bro this is an old golf cart the seat's not all that good and there's nothing to hold on to that is the most important thing i have to hold on to the hood here dude like i was trying my hardest not to to end up on America's funniest home videos here. It was crazy. Bro, I've never been more scared in my life. And I'm trying not to die because if I die, then who's gonna carry on my legacy? I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no girlfriend. Wait, shit, my light kind of sad. Hey, besides the point, back to the story. Once he's finally gone around the block a few times, I decide I can't take any more or I'll spit up all of the expired candy that I ate out of my grandma's candy dish. And that's supposed to be for guests. But whatever. I'm sitting here like, okay, that's it. I can't, I can't let this caramel candy go, bro. This caramel candy comes at a price and the price was worth paying. I'm basically like, all right, all right, all right. We've been around more than enough times and we call it a day. But while I'm getting off of the golf cart, I noticed that it's smoking like a lot. And I'm like, whoa, 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 hold up. That can't be right, bro. If there's anything that I know from playing video games, from playing Watch Dogs, from playing, you know, GTA games, 
Any game that you can destroy cars in, bro, you should know that once the car starts smoking, it's only a tick away from, you know, catching on fire and then exploding. But I'm like, eh, that's just video games, whatever, whatever. But I do think that I should go tell my grandfather about it since it is his golf cart and I would want him to like, you know, know. So I go tell my grandfather and he's like really, really chill. My grandfather's always been chill. Like since I've known him, I've never seen him, you know, like get like unnecessarily mad. So I go to him and I'm like, hey, granddad, the golf cart was smoking and I just wanted to tell, let you know, like, what should I do about it? Bada bing, bada boom, that, 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 and this. So he's like, you know, real chill. He's like kind of wise. So he's like, oh, son, it's nothing. I'll just get someone to look at it later. And I'm like, okay, all right, grandpa. I don't know what kind of accent that is, by the way. But anyways, I'm like, all right, cool. Granddad said he'll handle it. But I go about my business, go back to the back room. I'm back there, you know, watching Kid Flash try to bag Jinx. They try to bag a 10. You did. Go ahead, boy. But besides the point, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes go by. And then I hear screaming from outside. And I'm like, uh-oh. And when I listen, I notice it's my, my grandmother screaming about the golf cart. I'm like, okay, what's going on with the golf cart? So she's talking about the golf carts on fire. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I saw this coming. Like, I feel like that's so raven because I, like, you know, foresaw this. Like, I mean, it, it obviously didn't take a lot to, like, see that the golf cart was smoking. But, I mean, still. After that, I run to my grandfather because he calls me. And he's like, go handle it. And he hands me this, this like, fire extinguisher. And this was a kitchen fire extinguisher. And there's anything that I remember from these fire extinguishers is, is that there's like four classes. I'm not exactly sure what the classes were. And that's not really important. All I know is that this fire extinguisher for the house should not be used on the fire extinguisher outside. But I'm like, okay, I mean, worst case scenario, I spray it and, and see what happens, right? Yeah, wrong. So I go out there, this little fire extinguisher, expecting this, you know, like little fire that I might be able to like, you know, stomp out real quick and then put it out. That's it. That's it. So yeah, when I turn the corner to, you know, check out this, you know, like little fire gone wrong, dude, this fire was out of control. The fire has engulfed the entire golf cart at this point. Stuff is popping off. So I'm sitting there with my fire extinguisher like, y'all sure this the fire that I was supposed to be handling? Like there's got to be a fire behind this fire that that's supposed to be the one that I'm supposed to be dealing with. And I like look at it and shake my head and say, yeah, that's dead. There's no way that I'm out here with no gear handling this fire right now. So anyways, we called the fire department with this burning golf cart going crazy right next to my grandparents' house. And the shingles on the house start to melt and stuff starts to fall off. And I'm like, ooh, it's kind of urgent that they get here, you know, ASAP, like as soon as possible. And I kid you not, like it felt like 20 minutes. It was probably like 15-ish, but 15 20 minutes pass, and then this small pickup truck pulls up with fire department ridden on the side of it. And the thing about it, like, I've seen these kind of trucks before, but the thing about this one was, it was like a white pickup truck, and it honestly looked like somebody drew fire truck, like, like fire department on the side of it. It looked like somebody took a Sharpie marker, it was like, you know, fire depot on the side. And I'm like, bro, what is going on, bro? And at this point, I'm starting to get a little worried, just a little bit, just a little bit. But then, as if that's not enough, this really old man, who I do appreciate, before I start joking, <laughs> before I start talking about him, I really do appreciate this old man and his um, son or his grandson was with him. Anyways, that's the point. They hop out and I'm like, oh no, it's doomed. He gets out with this, you know, big fire extinguisher. And this fire extinguisher looks like it's, you know, more professional, but he sprays the fire and no cap. The fire gets bigger. I've never seen a fire, like, get mad, but this fire was definitely getting pretty pissed at how lightly everyone was handling it. First, I came out there with my little extinguisher, and then they came out here with this extinguisher. We need, like, you know, water. Like, has anybody tried water? I mean, I know, you know, like, fire extinguishers are supposed to be better at this kind of thing, but nothing beats, you know, the old bucket of water, throw it on the thing and see what happens, right? So after this fire displays how serious that it is, everyone decides to wait on the big fire truck that's like taking a year to get here. Long story short, fire truck finally comes and the fire gets put out with no problems. My grandparents, they had house insurance and stuff, so the damage got paid for and they even had enough for a brand new golf cart, which is clean. Like that's actually like best case scenario, right? Nobody got hurt. The fire didn't get like inside the house, so it didn't burn anything, you know, too valuable. So, so that was clean and yeah that's how my summer went so yeah appreciate you watching to the end and if you enjoyed i would appreciate a like my name is clutch don't forget to party <laughs>